So now that we've backed up some of our files, we have some documented files in here. I'm going to go ahead and back up photos. And this is where I've noticed a lot of our teachers here in Mainer have quite a few photos saved from years and years of of classes and that's awesome and photo memories are always wonderful so I'm going to show you how to back those up um, there's several ways you can do this of course you can plug in a flash drive and back up that way but because we have Google Drive available for all our teachers and quite a bit of space in there it might be easier for you to back up this way first then pop that into Google Drive so that's what we're showing I'm going to go ahead and open up my photos application and it shows that I have several photos here from you know the robotics expo which the Maynard technology department is very proud of and of course there's several different images here and like I said some of you're gonna have <laughs> hundreds of images there now the backup process is pretty much the same as it would be for the way we did documents we just drag them into the folder and we can do the same thing here you know, you can have your, if you want to go into photos and categorize them by year, you can do that. If you just want to back up every single photo, you can do that as well. So selecting multiple items is always going to be the easiest thing for you to do. Now notice what I'm doing. If you move your mouse trackpad all the way to the edge, you get these little two arrows. If you press and hold those arrows, it allows you to resize the window. And it's always a good idea to resize your window in a way that's going to make it easier for you to drag. Now, for some people, if they're left-handed or right-handed, they might have a preference on which direction they want to drag. But here, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it this way. So I have Photos folder here. I want to drag everything in there. Now, so because I'm going to be dragging quite a few items, I don't want to accidentally drop them on my desktop or anywhere else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double-click Photos and make sure that I'm in my fold Photos folder so when I drop them, I know I'm dropping them in the right place. Okay, so again, you can individually grab photos and drag them in, of course. You can make highlighted boxes and drag more than one. You can even drag them this way. But again, that's going to take you quite a bit of time. So the easiest thing to do is actually do the select all feature. So I'm going to select all my images. You can go to edit and select all or even hold the command key and push the letter A, that'll also highlight every single item. But I'm gonna go ahead and go to select all. And notice I'm in photos, I'm on not in any of these other things, I'm in photos. I'm gonna press and hold, now that they're all selected, they're all highlighted, I'm gonna press and hold and drag it in. And once I drag it over to photos, the process will begin and they'll be slowly transitioning over depending on the speed of your computer. And notice they came in kind of crazy looking. So this is right now I'm in, in icon view. So I can go ahead and go to list view here and it'll show all my items and it'll show that they're coming in. If you have a little cloud, that means you were backing up to your Apple cloud. That's what I do. If you're not, don't worry about that if you don't see that. But all my items are now moving over into my photos folder. And that is how you back up all 